Okay, so this is Lynn, and today we're going to do some facial fillers on her as well as Botox. The areas that we're going to address today in terms of Botox are her glabella area. Go ahead and make a frown for us. Take care of those lines, raise your eyebrows, take care of her forehead lines, and then big smile. Take care of what's called the crow's feet here. And then in terms of filler, we're gonna add filler here to the nasolabial folds to soften that area, and a little bit of filler within the cheek here to give her some more fullness, more youthful look. When injecting filler, I use micro cannulas. This allows more even deposition of the filler where you want it, and also decreases the amount of bruising and swelling. It allows the filler to be placed through a single needle stick into multiple locations. So one area I commonly find is neglected in terms of using facial fillers is the temporal area. As we age, we tend to have temporal hollowing, but filling in this area gives the face a more youthful look, more of an oval look, and it makes the patient look dramatically younger. So we're done with the Botox and filler, and she has little bumps, almost look like mosquito bites on her forehead, and that's from the Botox. Those will go down within 10 to 15 minutes, so by the time she gets out, wherever she's going, they won't be noticeable anymore. Botox does take about 24 to 36 hours to start kicking in, we call it, where you're going to start to notice a difference, unlike the filler, which you will notice immediately when you leave the office. The Botox does take a couple days, a day to a couple days to start, and full effect is right around two weeks.